Welcome back. I thought I'd do a quick update video on my old burner. So this is seven years ago, believe it or not, when I first built it. So I've just got this burner here. I haven't changed much since. And you can see there's no fan. It just draws air from the bottom. And I can add a fire brick in the center there just to burn wood and quickly change it over to oil. You see the oil feed through the side. It's just straight engine oil. I don't filter it, I don't do anything. I just use straight engine oil out, out of the car once I do an oil change. So after all this time, I finally got it set up in my workshop. You see the oil drum up there. It's about two and a half meters up. Uh, the main reason is you just want a little bit of head pressure. So at two and a half meters, you have roughly 25 kPa. So it just helps the oil feed a little bit. Now there's the burn. I have made some fine adjustments over time. So the bottom's completely the same. The base of it is the same, except I did machine down the center tube by about 20 mil just there to allow a bit more air. And every setup is slightly different. So I just mess with it over time to get the air fuel ratio right. And you can see I've drilled a row of holes around that top edge and also added a couple more slits at the bottom just progressively till I got it right. Great to have it in this workshop and finally heating this area up. I still use the same fire brick on top and disc but you can see it's, it's had a bit of a workout that disc probably needs to be replaced at some point. That disc doesn't make a lot of difference but it does provide like a secondary burn so I think it is worthwhile having it. This is a six inch flue. The first section there up till it goes to the wall is actually tubing. That's two millimeters thick. And I still am using Kero to fire it up. I think it's easier. Now, when I light it, I just normally have it straight in like this and I use max gas and just uh, fire it up as it is. But I've run out of gas, so to make it a bit easier, I just quickly pull the top off light up a bit of tissue paper, stick it in there just to get it going on Kero. Put it back together quickly and you'll notice that in this design you need the door shut and that forces all air to come in the bottom and as it gets hotter more air pulls through. So this is straight Kero. I'm, I'm not very patient with things like this so you should really wait a bit because you want the oil to vaporize so you need the metal in that bowl to be quite hot for that to happen now i can't seem to wait that long so i wait about two minutes and start putting oil in and you can just see the difference here with the door open and how it draws air So that's still Kero. Like I said, I don't leave it long enough and I just start putting oil in. It still works, but uh, you'll see what will happen in a minute. So I open up the oil, just a small drip because I know I'm doing this too early. And you can see pretty much straight away, it starts to form a bit of, bit of a black spot on the, on the glass and I've got it on time lapse here. That black spot stays there and probably peaks at about the five minute mark. And you can see it's still there. I just mess with the oil here and there. At this point, I've just got to adjust it to be slightly more. It's about one, I'd say it's one liter an hour, maybe a bit more. And you can see that fire at that point is not burning at the front. But here's a look underneath, which is quite interesting. I keep messing with the oil and again you can see when you open the door it's starting to get hot now how it just fires right up now at this point it's starting to burn quite well and I just want to show you if you are patient what happens so you can see that black spot I put it on time lapse it takes probably this is maybe 15 minutes after firing it up and it just burns everything off. Now at this point, it's getting super hot. 
and it's burning perfectly. There's, I didn't take a, a video of the chimney, but there's honestly, there's nothing coming out there at all. And this is set right where you want it. So at that point, it's probably about one and a half liters an hour, I'd say. <laughs> Even that flue that's two millimeters thick stainless is glowing red hot. This thing is absolutely pumping out the heat. And I wondered whether it could keep my whole workshop warm. And with all the insulation I put in it, I'm pleased to say that this oil burner now with these mods I've done is plenty hot enough. And yeah, this is burning awesomely. Now at this point, Liz, everything's getting red hot here. It's only been burning for about 40 minutes. I'd probably in normal circumstances have it a bit lower heat than this. But I just wanted to show you what it could do. Now that's still burning with no oil being added because it's just burning what's left in there. Takes maybe a couple of minutes and that'll burn out. This is, it's starting to die down. Again, there's no fan at all. And you can start to see the amount of heat that's in there. It was actually getting hard to get close to this with the camera, to be honest. That plate up there I upgraded to a 10 mil thick plate when I first built this. And look at that, completely red hot, including the flue. Hope you've enjoyed it. See you next time.